Okay, so we're going to do the zodiac sign Cancer. This could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. It could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So what do we have for cancer? Distant horizons. And then you have main male. So somebody is definitely distancing herself from something. This could be this main male. Or this could be someone just distancing herself from a main male. Message of concern. Wow. So somebody is concerned about somebody being distant or distancing themselves. Maybe this person moved. Maybe this person was divinely guided to leave something behind. Just move forward. And somebody is concerned. Yeah, mature man. Courthouse. So they're concerned that this person is distancing themselves. They're leaving a situation behind. This mature man is having some type of victory. Maybe this person was going through a, a court situation. And now that they've set themselves free from this, or they've had some type of victory with this situation, they're distancing themselves from something. Could be this main male. Marriage. So they could be freeing themselves from a, a commitment or a marriage that they were in. Yeah, adjudication is here. It's like this person could have been in court about some type of, you know, marriage or a relationship. And now they're they're like moving away or distancing themselves. And somebody is definitely concerned. Whoever this main male is, they're concerned because the situation that this person was put in matured them. So they would be able to move forward and leave something behind. Maybe they thought that, you know, since this person was in this situation, they would just be stuck under judgment. They would be, you know, stuck in some type of court situation involving a marriage or something. Queen of Swords. Yeah, they're definitely distancing themselves from something. Or someone. Page of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. And then a musician. Oh, so say if this person was someone that was trying to get some type of get someone to take care of them, like with the Six of Pentacles, like be generous to them or give them something. This could have been involving a child. This could have been some trickery with the musician. And then the hermit. The world in the reverse. Yeah, they were trying to keep somebody isolated from completing a cycle out. With whoever they are. King of Wands. So maybe this person had a lot of, you know, passion. They have a lot of talent. They're very ambitious and they were going after something. Like taking action towards something. Gaining their strength back. This person is driven to succeed, whoever this king of wands is. And they didn't want that for that person. They wanted to keep that person in hermit mode, like feeling isolated. And this was like a tactic to keep that person to give to something, like a situation. But the entire time with the page of pentacles being here, this person was definitely learning lessons and it helped them mature. These were lessons that this person needed to learn before taking action or going towards something different. Yeah, deception. Seven of Swords. 
this person was being deceived. They were being betrayed. Somebody set this person up and they thought they weren't going to get caught. Whoever this main male is, they could have been somebody that was close to the mature man and they were helping this person. Yeah, they could have been sleeping with that person. Wow. Yeah, the devil. So these could have been two people that this person was attached to and these are karmics to that person. They were trying to keep that person bound to some type of, you know, toxic addictions, bad habits, obsessions, um, codependency issues. Destructive behaviors and patterns, things like that. It's like they didn't want that person to get out of that cycle. So they were being very strategic. So this person would not end this cycle out. Yeah, so this person was being deceived by two different people and they didn't know, like this was hidden. These were tactics to keep this person like at a stalemate. Yeah, so they wouldn't be happy, you know, nine of cups in the chariot and move forward in life. They didn't want that person to have happiness. Page of Swords. And Ten of Pentacles. Could have been a lot of people that was... Um, say if this person was watching someone that they wanted to go towards. The Chariot, Nine of Cups, that person was this person's wish fulfillment. These are people that were trying to like be very strategic to like keep that person at a stalemate. This could have been a family. This could have been a group of people that they knew. Or this could have been two individuals who, you know, were karmics to that person. They could have had different people watching you and that person. Because they knew that this person wanted to come towards you. Five of Cups is here. Somebody is definitely like in regret. And then the Lovers is here. And somebody's in regret because these two people have a deep bond. These are two people that have a spiritual connection. So all of these people that were watching these two people, they're draining in sorrow. They're in regret. They're embarrassed. They feel bad. These are people that are lost. Like they're far from. The Five of Cups talks about non-believers. So maybe these people don't have faith. They don't believe in God. Maybe they, they you know, have a different belief system. And, um. They didn't believe that you and this person have a spiritual connection. The two people that wanted to keep that person in a psych, a toxic cycle, they knew. But they didn't want other people to know. They want that person to feel stuck. So maybe they created a false narrative around you and this person. And these people were just sitting back watching you, studying you, watching that person, observing that person. This was obsession. Obsession over a spiritual connection. Now a lot of people are embarrassed. Yeah, Ten of Swords and then the Star. Yeah. They feel like somebody was betrayed. So whoever the person is that's spiritually woke, spiritually gifted, this person was shedding a lot of insight. That person was being backstabbed and betrayed for bringing something to the light. Could have been the spiritual connection or speaking the truth about something that took place, like some type of deception or betrayal. And they wanted to betray that person or backstab that person, pin that person down for shedding light on something because they didn't want another person to know about the spiritual connection. Queen of Cups. One second. Yeah, so somebody definitely wanted to backstab someone that was shedding light on something. For using their intuition with the Queen of Cups being here. Someone that was healing, you know, um, nurturing their self, loving their self. They wanted that person to be betrayed, you know, backstabbed. And if this person is someone that have a strong intuition, <clears throat> yeah, this was out of envy, out of jealousy. They got pissed off Knight of Swords because this is someone that defends whatever it is that they believe in. If this someone is a, that's a strong believer in God, they were defending their belief system. 
These are people that are at the five of cups. These are non-believers. So it's like they didn't want this person. They wanted to betray this person for being spiritually gifted. They wanted to see this person take a fall. But it didn't work. So a lot of people are just watching that person and regret whoever this person is that is um, walking in their purpose. This queen of cups. Everything backfire. Yeah, this person is someone that's definitely spiritually protected. Seven of Wands. Their energy field is blocked off. So whatever negativity that they were trying to send to that person out of envy, out of jealousy, um, it didn't work. And they're in regret. It's like they're draining in sorrow. Yeah, somebody definitely got caught. Whoever was being very sneaky, very deceptive, they ended up getting caught. It's like they trapped their self. They didn't know. They were too busy in the Seven of Swords, you know, expecting to never get caught, thinking that they were smarter than this person, smarter than that person. They were very strategic. And they were accustomed to getting away with, you know, different things and causing deception. Lying, sneaking, stealing, cheating people out of whatever they can get. And it backfired. And this was definitely a tactic to try to have you at a stalemate from using your intuition, being open to your intuition, believing in your intuition, trusting in your intuition. You stood up for whatever it is that you believe in and all of this backfired. Somebody was determined to try to sabotage you any way that they could. And it just did not work. Yeah, this was destined to take place. It's like you chose to walk in your destiny. You chose to walk in your purpose. And you going through this, this was a part of your destiny. This was destined to take place. This was destined to backfire. Somebody that was at the Seven of Swords, they were destined to, you know, be in this Eight of Swords energy. Catch their self up, trap their self. Yeah, the star card is here because you're walking in your purpose. This was destined to happen for someone else to heal. Whoever the person is that was attached to these people that were trying to keep them in a toxic cycle. So they could realize that they were chosen to do something. So this person could, you know, put their faith in God. Re rejuvenate their self queen of swords yeah five of cups in the reverse you're definitely someone that stands your ground and you're someone that you you accept what whatever you accept the truth you accept whatever it is that you believe in you've moved on you found peace somebody needed to forgive their self for something Because they wanted you to be in regret for speaking the truth, but that didn't work. That's why the five of cups is in the reverse. This is why whoever these people are, are draining in sorrow in the five of cups upright. And they're stressed out, nine of swords. Because you're in this temperance energy, you're very balanced out, very peaceful. You're someone that's very patient and you could be someone that prays a lot as well. That stresses them out. They cannot believe they got exposed. Yeah, something was something was definitely completed, a cycle, the world. Page of Pentacles. And then Page of Cups. So somebody wants to give you an apology. This could be like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation or somebody wants to apologize for something. And then the food card is here. Yeah, so somebody's coming towards you because they want to give you an apology. The hair font in the reverse. Maybe whoever this person is feel like you're not going to forgive them. But this is also someone that was very foolish. Like this person is someone who had blind faith. So they were able to be confused. They were able to be fooled. As I said, that was somebody who did not believe in God. High Priestess is here.
And they could have hid this. They could have hid that they don't believe in God. They didn't want people to know. Yeah, five of swords. Wow. But this person is someone that's envious and jealous because you, you're someone that is spiritually gifted. You choose to use your gifts in a positive way. They were also out to sabotage you because you knew some hidden knowledge. But yeah, whoever this person is, this is someone who is not to be trusted. So somebody else could want to come towards you, give you an apology. And another person is trying to hide the fact that they were trying to sabotage you because they knew you knew some hidden knowledge about them. So they didn't want that person to know why they were trying to sabotage you. And that's somebody that don't even believe in God. But they knew that you knew a lot of hidden knowledge about them. They knew you were this high priestess and you had a strong intuition. So that, this is why they were out to try to, you know, sabotage you, sabotage the connection that you have with that person. Because you're this high priestess. But they wanted to keep it hidden. Yeah, nine of wands is here. This is somebody that was trying to hold on to that person and they're dealing with some type of abandonment issues. They they need to heal from something that they've went through. So they figured they were trying to sabotage you and this would be hidden. They didn't know that this would help somebody free themselves from something. Being, you know, blinded by faith. They didn't know that that person would free themselves from being blinded. Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, somebody is nervous because it's like you're in this nine of pentacles energy. And it's like if that person is dealing with some type of abandonment issues, that other person that's coming towards you, they could be in this nine of pentacles energy, very self-sufficient, independent. They don't need anyone to stand on their own two feet. But whoever the person is that was trying to determine to like hold on to them, but they were keeping it hidden, they don't want that person to see them that way. But you know, because you're this high priestess, you you know how to read energy. The hangman. And eight of pentacles, yeah, somebody definitely got enlightened. They've been working on their self. And it's like somebody is focusing on their own independence, being self-made. After, you know, looking at things a whole nother way. Yeah, somebody is definitely working on a new project, Ace of Wands. Like they they've gained some type of inspiration. And um they want a new beginning. This person wants growth. So they could have been right in this nine of wands energy, dealing with the same thing over and over again, just stuck in a never-ending cycle, not getting anything out of it. Around different people that are rivals, but they kept it hidden. Two of Pentacles. And two of wands. So somebody is definitely planning something. They're trying to figure out how can they balance something out. And then six of wands. Oh. Three of Cups. I'm so done. So whoever this person is, this was somebody that could have been like a friend to that person. This could have been a friendship. Three of Cups is here. That person was someone who was trying to like block that person's creativity because they wanted to hold on to that person. They feel like if that person was at the Six of Wands, they couldn't go with that person. So they figured that, you know, they will work hard to keep that person at a stalemate keep that person in the energy of two of pentacles like juggling being unsure about balancing out their own decisions just negative um advice different things like that because they just didn't want to see that person get any you know gain any self-confidence be their self like self-made and that person could have always been somebody that was at the nine of pentacles and they were at the nine of wands like trying to hold on to that person that that, that person Whoever this friend is, this person is worse. 
Yeah. Sad to say, but that person is somebody that's worrisome. They don't want to see anyone else get up or make any progress or have victory. Yeah, and that's the truth. Somebody gained clarity about this, Ace of Swords. They found out the truth about that person. This person found out the truth about this cycle that they were in. Yeah, they definitely found out the truth about this deception. This person is a snake. And they were willing to do whatever they could to hold on to that person and hold them back. That's it. That's all. Eight of Wands. And Knight of Cups. Now that somebody found out the truth, they're definitely coming towards you. They want to talk to you, communicate with you. Knight of Cups. And then the Strength card is here. They've overcame whatever this was. Somebody needed to get more focus and gain their inner strength back. Because some whoever this person, they were draining that person. Holding on to that person, just draining them to keep them in a never-ending cycle. I'm so done. Somebody definitely needed to set boundaries with whoever this person is, no matter how long they knew that person. This person was hiding all of this stuff that they had to went through when they were a child and projecting it onto that person to get that person to feel sorry for them, to hold on to them, to cause deception to that person, um, betrayal to that person, steal from that person, lie to that person, and they wanted that person to tolerate them, you know, continue to tolerate them over and over and over again. Whatever they were doing in secret, they did it over and over and over and over again. Once this secret came out, they were nervous. And then with this nine of wands and the moon, as I said, you could have knew some type of um, secret about that person and it came out and it made that person like nervous. They were in fear. The moon talks about psychic abilities, intuition, things like that. That person did not know that you would be able to find out their secret. So they did a lot of stuff behind the scenes, like to backstab you, betray you, to make you look bad. And the truth came out. If yeah, for a swords, the situation was definitely laid to rest. And then the devil... Somebody realized they needed to isolate themselves from whoever these people were. After getting enlightened, they needed to cleanse themselves. Because somebody had them play. Whoever this friend is, they were playing with spell work. And somebody didn't even know that their friend was off into this. Um, and that person got nervous when you spoke the truth. Somebody definitely realized they needed to... Um, Go in solitude away from that person. Separate yourself from that person. Two of Cups is here. And then Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. So this person's wish fulfillment is partnering up with you. This person wants this divine connection. They definitely want to um, build a ten of cups with you. They want, you know, happiness, fulfillment with you, emotional fulfillment. This is what they've been wishing for. Nine of cups. Five of pentacles. And then page of swords. Yeah, it's like somebody, somebody got left out in the cold or they're just watching you while they're in this five of pentacles energy feeling left out or being left out in the cold. They didn't expect for this person to like leave them out in the cold or distance themselves from them, ghost them or something like that. And they're sitting back watching you. That person that this person that wants to be in a relationship with you, they could be watching you and they could feel left out in the cold. Like this person could be missing you. Six of swords in the reverse. Yeah. 
they feel like it's unfinished business. This person does not want you to move forward. They don't want you to leave them behind. So they're just watching you, constantly watching you, trying to figure out how can they come towards you to balance something out. Ten of Swords and then Queen of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like this person seeing you go through a lot of betrayal. But you still stand up and have a lot of courage, confidence. You're very focused. And you're constantly being gifted with abundance. Ace of Pentacles is here. They don't want you to leave them behind. They feel like it's unfinished business. Yeah, three of wands. It's like they've made a final decision that they want to... Yeah, come towards you. This person wants a relationship with you. You have the Ace of Pentacles. They want to be in a commitment with you. King of Wands. So yeah, this is somebody that definitely seen you go through a lot of betrayal. A lot of crisis. People were trying to defeat you. They wanted you to fail. But you're, you're still... It's like... You have a lot of courage. You have a lot. This gave you a lot of courage. It gave you more confidence. It has you more focused. Yeah, and that person is seeing the bigger picture as they sat back and watched you go through whatever this Ten of Swords was. It helped this person make a decision that they want to start a new venture with you. <laughs> 